But you know what? Vincent is a big R. Kelly fan, just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I seen this meme where it was... Well, I'll show you later. <laughs> no, there's nothing, nothing bad. But it was R. Kelly and his lawyer. <clears throat> And uh, his, R-, R. Kelly's lawyer standing here, and then R. Kelly's behind him, and the lawyer's talking to the judge, and he's like, uh, Your Honor, my client sees nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can you separate the person from the art? Yes, you have to, because Michael Jackson made Thriller. <laughs> You've got to dance to Thriller at parties. Just because he, I mean, he did some bad things, so... Maybe you shouldn't be a fan of the guy, but like his music, you're not gonna not you're gonna rob yourself of the good music and the good times just because of what he's doing. So he's ruining other people's lives. Now he's gonna ruin your life <laughs> by by taking away that music. No, I can't live like that. Uh, okay, what do you think about this? <clears throat> Michael Jackson's dead. Yeah. If you buy his albums today, yeah. who are you supporting? His children? Hmm. So uh, his he, estate, whoever that is. He probably messed up his children, right? Ooh. He wasn't probably the best dad. Do pedophiles... Uh, a, a, alleged pedophiles? Alleged. I mean, maybe he did that with other kids, not his own kids. No, but I mean, he probably just wasn't a good dad, right? Ah. You know what? I don't want you to sleep with me. I want Timmy. He's sleeping over and... <laughs> <laughs> okay. My uh, point... Go ahead. ...is he was probably not a great dad. Yes. Would you say that buying his work kind of makes up for the fact that he was a horrible dad and puts money in his kids' pockets? He gives money to the kids. He's not benefiting true, anymore. Yeah. I mean, money won't make up for a missing father, but I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Now, R. Cali, you buy his albums. He gets the money. He gets the money. Yeah. So would you say buy Michael Jackson albums he's all day? He's not even paying child support. <laughs> he's, oh, is that part well, of the thing? Well, he just paid child support. <clears throat> Like, R. Kelly just paid child support. He, he owed, like, $100,000 in child support and stuff. Hmm. So you buy R. Kelly's albums, you help his, his kids because they get the support. So if an artist is alive and doing crazy stuff, we shouldn't support him. But, Dang, Fatima is telling me to forget about Zayn. All right. Ooh. If y'all want me Oh, to, yeah, she's a Harry fan. That's right. If y'all want... I mean, I'll stop I'll stop listening to Zayn, then, if that's what you guys want. So, okay. Yeah, okay. So you you could separate an, any of them all day. Like, I... Because, like, look... I okay, watch the okay. Cosby show all day. Yeah, I yeah. can't not like that show. Because here's the problem. Let's say... And and this is the problem with mankind, right? That we were we have a fallen nature. Because let's say you were gonna say, All right, I can't support any more pedophiles. All right, then how many uh uh musicians are you not gonna support? How many businesses are you now gonna not support, right? How many schools can you not send your kids to? Right? How many books now can you not buy? How, you're not gonna buy from PG and E because like one of their CEOs did something crazy. Like it's just mm. it's too much. There's so many people doing so much wrong in the world that if you say, "Oh, well, actually, how about this?" It's kind of like throwing the first stone, right? It's like, okay, you're not going to to let's say I was R. Kelly and I was like, "All right, you're not gonna buy my music." All right, well, the first one with no sins, you can you can stop buying my music or something. Something to that effect, you know, like. So it, the person who's committing these like, heinous acts would say that? Well, yeah, because I think the law can take <clears throat> care of them. But whether if I keep listening to his music or not, uh, um, it, it's kind of weird because then where do you stop? Like, Okay, Charles Manson. Yeah. You know how he was like obsessed with becoming a singer? Mm-hmm. Would you like buy his album? Uh, does he have an album? I think... Can we look that up? I think he Let's has see. an album on YouTube. I think he has music on YouTube. I think he got really obsessed with the Beatles' Helter Skelter song, which is an amazing song. And then it like it kind of triggered him. So the and, Beatles uh, turned him into a killer? If I follow the story... I, I've never really dug into it, but I think it kind of messed with his head. And he kind of just, he, it made him want to become a singer. And when it failed, it kind of drove him crazy. He had like a demo that he was trying to shop around. Hi, Charlie, baby. 
This says uh, this says unplugged. Do we want to listen to the unplugged version or do we want to listen to the full production? Uh, whatever seems real. By the way, Squid Squad. I'm a Taylor Swift fan. That's what I want to listen to. Vincent's got you listening to serial killer music right now. I think a lot of them hate Taylor Swift. <laughs> really? Okay. If I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, let's let's peep this. Uh, you want the full production? I guess. But let's look at the description too in the comments to make sure it's real. It's not a. Oh yeah. I mean. I, I might put Charles Manson into my Pandora channel. <laughs> That already <laughs> sounds good. This ain't bad. And he's dead. Okay. So we could buy his album. Wow. Uh, I mean, wait, let's see what the fans are saying. And this is my once all followers of media. Well, Uncle Charlie was the best. He cared for the planet and your kids. <laughs> all right. Let's God bless Charlie. <laughs> the time keeps on. Is that supposed to look like Life magazine? Life? He's a blend of of Jim Croce and uh, what is the voice? What voice is that? It kind of reminds me of um, no a, a little bit of Jose Feliciano. The light my fire, light my fire, light my fire. Yeah. I hear that a little. Wow, that little twang in there. Ah, Had he not been a murderous cult leader? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I kind of feel like killing someone. <laughs> Should we stop it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it does that to you. Man, okay. It's intoxicating. That was really good. That is actually amazing. Oh my gosh. Should we do a review? Should we <laughs> listen to this on our own time? We come back tomorrow and then give the review. Of the show. You know what would be like the only ones reviewing John Manson's <laughs> album? That's our claim to fame. You know what would be the best if we went to like starving artists and I was playing Charles Manson songs? <laughs> they had no idea. Oh my god, they're like, yo, where's that from? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I gotta let the Snapchat fans know the only podcast reviewing Charles Manson albums. 